Welcome to this perfect layout video. This is how the Mac OS installation and activation works. Perfect layout comes with its own installer. As it stores some values in the Mac OS system it requires the user password during the installation. Also make sure that your computer is connected to the internet because it will download some installation files in the background. After the installer has finished open finale and run the plugin. You will now be asked to activate the plugin. In rare cases you will see this registration dialog where you also have to specify your Elp Sound main folder and the plugin folder. Usually the two select folder buttons won't appear because this has already been set during the main installer. So normally you will only have to enter your name, email address and license key now. Click on submit license key. Then check your emails and copy and paste the activation code that you will receive immediately. Now click on activate plugin and you're done. Dependent on your Mac OS version and your security settings perfect layout might ask you about access to terminal, to system events or to image events. This is required for the perfect layout progress bar which uses the terminal app. If you don't want to grant this access, the perfect layout progress bar won't work. This is okay, but means that you won't see the progress of the plugin in real time. More info about this topic is also available in our perfect layout FAQ. The very first time you may also get a Mac symbol fonts text warning. This means that Perfect Layout has to update Finale's font settings file because it is not optimized. Select yes, unless you are a music font geek and are totally sure that this absolutely makes no sense for your scores. If you select no, Perfect Layout might not work correctly on some music symbols. Selecting yes also requires a restart of Finale. The next time you run Perfect Layout everything should be set up correctly. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching.